Hey everybody, RTBR here, and, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. In this episode, we're going to be taking on Scrap Brain Zone. And, in my, in my personal opinion, this is probably the hardest level in the game, really. I mean, Labyrinth Zone is annoying, but this one is just plain out difficult. I mean, between all the stuff you have to avoid and all the hazards, especially, like, there's like a crap ton of bottomless pits. It's just... I don't know, it's just, it's hard in my opinion. It's one of the hard, yeah, this is the hardest level. Um, I don't really like it that much. The second act isn't as bad, but it's still not my favorite. Um, there's, th the thing I really don't like about this zone really is, in all three acts, it kind of changes, like, the theme of it. Like, right now, it's kind of like an industrial place, right? But in act two and three, they're two completely different things from each other and this one. It's just kind of weird. I don't really like it. I don't really like the music in it either. But anyways, it's, it's not really a bad level. As you can see, there's ring boxes and a shield up there. We're going to miss those, I guess. And don't fall down there, because there's a platform down there. But you want to take the high path on this level, because it's so much easier. You have no idea how much easier that is. And, of course, hit by fire and I lose my shield. <sighs> yep, just try to make it across those platforms without dying. <laughs> going to switch it so we don't go down. We go right. And this part can be kind of hard. Get this just in case for no reason. You gotta jump and then jump and then jump. It's kind of hard because timing on it's just really weird. Like, yeah. Because if you jump after it's appeared, there's no way you're gonna get that top platform. So you gotta jump before it appears, jump really fast, and then jump up here and get two ring boxes and a shield. So, yeah, again, that's always nice to have as well. There's gonna be platforms here, I hope. These, yes hop from them because you know Sonic is technically a platformer and yes once we're here we should be somewhat in the clear this part's really annoying though because you have to go really slow and you can't get crushed as long as you keep pressing right though against it you should be good you shouldn't get crushed I don't see why you would but just be cautious because this can kill you in one hit because it is a crushing mechanic as I'm sure you can well tell electricity in this level it will hurt you really bad and it kind of sucks I'm gonna go up for some reason. Oh, I don't know what these guys do, but I don't want to hit them. Oh, that's what they do. God damn it. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> Get some of your rings back just because, you know. You always want rings. Get the points there. So, yes, that went pretty well, in my personal opinion. Better than it usually goes when I play this level, that's for sure. But now we come across the conundrum that is the second act. As you can see, we're now indoors, and what is this? It's kind of like a laboratory kind of esque place. It's no longer industrial. These are new. You run on these, and you can jump off them. If you press down, you go into a ball and go really fast. Just jump in the direction you want to go and try not to get hit by lightning. <laughs> um, a lot of people try to um, use the ball right here. I don't know why. It's so much easier just to hop like that. You have to be on top of these things for them to, for you to stick on them, either on the top or on like the very side of it. But yeah, people jump off them in a ball. You, if you jump off in a ball, you can't control where you're going at all, and you go so much faster that you can't even control where you're gonna jump. It's just kind of weird to me. Just I don't see why you just don't just run off it. <laughs> they make you choose. Do you want to get burnt or electrified? Just wait for the fire to go down, and you should be good. Yep, and we're gonna. Avoid those, because they're assholes. Ooh, it's a ring box. Why not? Anything else good down here? Is an electric thing over here somewhere? If you don't want to deal with, uh... Ooh, crap. <laughs> Hop, and... Nope. Damn. Might have to go over here to get this. I'm not sure. Nope. I believe we actually have to use the ball for this part. Oh, wow, that was weird. This never thrown me off before. Ah, damn. I'm gonna wait for that to go down. Ah, stop throwing me off, please. Whatever, stay on it like this. And we should be good. It shouldn't throw us off if we're walking. And no, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Yeah, if you get hit, just try to collect at least some rings so that way you're not completely vulnerable. And this part can be kind of difficult, I guess. Crap. That thing's gonna kill me. Yep. Damn. 
That kind of sucked. I didn't do this bad earlier. I was practicing, because I haven't played this game well since I last recorded, which was like two weeks ago, as you all know. Yeah, that's how you use the ball one. You can go down the lower path by like going the upper path. It's a little bit easier. It's not like game-breakingly easier, but you know, it helps a bit. Hop. Stop it, Sonic, you fool. What am I doing? I'm using the ball, and I just advised you not to use the ball. <sighs> I'm going against my own word here, jeez. Just don't use the ball, it's easier to just jump. It's the same amount of control, not as much height, but you really don't need that much height. Except for in the spot where we were before. Ah, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Ah, oh, damn it. I said don't. Well, it looks like we're taking the lower path. Ah, <sighs> damn it. <laughs> yeah, this lower path is not as easy. Especially with these fucks, these goddamn platforms. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh god. Alright, that was nerve wracking. Goodbye, him. Aw, oh, saw blades. Saw blades suck. Especially on conveyor belts. Because <laughs> they hit you and it hurts. And they go really slow. Except for one part in this level. They go kind of fastish and it's really annoying. Ah, oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Ah, oh, damn it. I said don't kill me, please. Yeah, saw blades are annoying. Don't go in a ball form because I'm pretty sure it'll shoot you like super fast. And you really don't want that. Whoo! How we avoided that, I'll never know. <laughs> we didn't get so lucky that time. Just get rings. That's all you gotta do is keep your rings for a little bit. And <laughs> you should be able to get through the level fairly easy. What the fuck? Ah, oh, damn it. Whatever. It's nice, I guess. Give us two ring boxes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes, go. Go, Sonic, go. You fool! Oh, what? Spouting. Oh, God. Oh, God, Mr. Sawblade. No, no, no. Please. Duh. Uh, eh. Don't hurt me. Oh, shit. Whatever you do, don't just don't hurt me. I need a ring. I'm gonna fucking die. Shit. Did I get a checkpoint, please? Please tell me I got a checkpoint. Pretty please. Pretty please. Oh, I didn't. This episode is taking much too long. <laughs> Why? Why must you go in a ball? Whatever, just don't go in a ball again, Sonic. You fool. You foolish fool! <sighs> so, as requested, uh, per Will, uh, he would like me to explain the in-depth storyline behind this game. It's so complex, you, your feeble minds might not be able to handle it. So pretty much what I'm getting at is... Dr. Robotnik, he's the fat guy in the red coat that we keep fighting, has an addiction to animals that he likes to turn them into robots, and then he pleasures himself with them later. It's kind of sick, I know. Just bear with me, though. And he's so attracted to Sonic that he feels the need to turn these ro these uh, animals into robots, so Sonic feels obligated to, uh, you know, come save them. And since Sonic's coming to save them, that in turn brings him to Dr. Robotnik. But Sonic realizes this plan, and he's like, you know, that's whack, dude. It's crazy shit, yo. Because Sonic's ghetto like that. He says yo and whack and dog and stuff. So, pretty much, we're trying to avoid this creepy furry pedophile. Cough, cough, flutter. What? Who said that? That wasn't nice. And, well, yeah, that's about it. We're going to fight him to free the animals, but we're also trying to kill him because he wants our body. That's essentially what the storyline is. And in order to obtain this, we need rings, because these are secretly, you know, like, STD cures, just in case he takes advantage of us. That's why we need 100. It's like, it's like the flu shot, just with rings instead. And yeah. It's pretty much uh, this storyline in a nutshell. Pretty uh, in-depth. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, these are all just like, uh, it's just Sonic's, you know, backyard. So yeah, saw blades again, just something Dr. Robotnik likes to pleasure himself with because he's a sick fuck. But other than that, it's not really that complicated of a storyline. That saw right there will try to fuck your shit up. Yeah, it's pretty easy to understand. Oh shit. Get some rank. Oh damn it, damn it, I didn't even see the fire hose right there. Shit. 
Uh, no, let's go up. <laughs> Here are the options, go up, not down. Can we... Ugh, we can't. Balls. Speaking of balls, there's an explosive one. Jesus, that fucker went for a while. Screw you, Caterkiller. And your brother. I'm not that stupid. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm that stupid, though. Fuck. Whatever. Can we score some points? Nope. No points for us. Sonic has passed Act 2. <laughs> yes. Well, see, at least this time it gives us a transition into Act 3 instead of just forcing us, you know, to go somewhere else like Act 1 to Act 2. Okay, him, because this is barrier. He's gonna, like, drop us down and laugh his fat ass off because he's a bitch. Scrap Brain Zone 3. Hit this and run. Just don't stop. You wanna go down here. Look familiar? It should. It's Labyrinth Zone recolored. <laughs> How creative. So, yeah, more underwater stuff. So, yay, more tridents that will fuck your shit up. We're we actually coming up on the very end of the game here. This is the second to last, uh, levelish type thing. God damn it. You're gonna want some rings because this does lead right into the final boss. And if you don't have any rings when you get there, you're not gonna have any rings for the fight. So, yeah, try to get rings. That's always a nice thing. Can we? Yes, we can. Sweetos. Where does this go? I don't. I didn't go this way last time. Rings for days. Gonna hop up here. Avoid that shiz. Avoid that shiz. I believe we just skipped a good portion of the level, actually. Yes, we did. Woohoo! Shoot us straight up into the world. Final zone. All right. One life left and no rings. Actually, never mind. It doesn't give us rings. Uh, this can be kind of difficult. It's not overly difficult. He's gonna shoot up, and you gotta hit him. And he'll shoot these balls out, and you gotta stand in the middle of some of them. And try not to get hit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it can be kind of nerve-wracking. Look for the biggest gap between them, because there are different sized gaps. Ah, oh, damn it. We have to hit him, I don't, I think it's maybe 16 times instead of 8. I don't know, it could be 8, though. Yes. One! Jeez, I have one life left. I really can't mess this up. <laughs> Two! That's always fun. Uh, really, you can usually outrun him when he comes up, so really, the only thing you gotta worry about is the spike balls. Or, not the spike balls, the electric balls. Don't jump into them when they're coming out of the thing, because that'd just be really stupid. Ah, oh, damn it. Almost got him. Not really, we weren't even close. But yeah, it's a fairly easy final boss. Shit. <laughs> I don't know why this is so difficult. Shouldn't be. See, he does stuff like that where there's no way you're gonna get it. Not a chance in hell. So it can be kind of annoying, but overall it's pretty easy. So this is the best situation. He trap you get trapped between the two, because hold on. I have no idea what I was just talking about. Something about being trapped between you and it being the best situation. Yeah, whatever. That's, oh, I hate it. It's so annoying. But it's not too hard. Just take your time. Ah, uh, Dr. Robotnik, why you hate me? I don't like this situation. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Uh, no. Uh, I may cut here if I have to. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, never mind, I don't have to. Alright. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to cut there before. I've never really died before in this boss. I just got kind of agitated. Agitated? Agitated, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Because I got interrupted again. I'm going to, it's going to be like the running gag of me let's playing is getting interrupted by my family. Can't wait till I can move out. <sighs> oh, come on. Just Sonic, why you straight jump like that? Come on, boy. He just, he totally straight jumped. You see that shit? What's well, two? We're already doing better than we did before. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna cut any of this out unless it gets like ridiculously long. Like three or four deaths. Then, then I'll probably cut it out. But I don't think we should have that much trouble. Because this honestly isn't that hard of a boss fight. <laughs> like I said before, just take your time. Hit him every now and then, you know. Avoid these electric balls. 
don't move when these are coming down, because chances are you'll probably get hit by them. And it'll probably kill you. So I'm not doing great, but I'm not doing too bad considering I've only gotten two game overs. Damn it. Really? Alright. <sighs> if I lose this time, then I'm probably going to cut it out. Other than that, though, I think I'm still going to leave it in. So yeah, if I only if I lose after this, I'm gonna cut out till I win, cause that's just kind of bullshit. Cause it's kind of annoying having to watch me do this over and over again. I bet, and this video is gonna be really long. And I'm really hoping I don't die again, cause I really wasn't looking forward to editing today. That's kind of why I didn't do Pokemon. I just wasn't in a very editing mood. And Sonic usually doesn't involve a lot of editing unless I mess up a crap ton, like I did in Labyrinth Zone. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> here's the hope and I don't die again, because that wouldn't be cool. I'm not going to say I'm doing bad, because this is the final boss. I guess you are expected to die maybe once or twice, or three times. Yeah, see, it's not too bad. Just don't be stupid. Don't get mad, because you're just going to lose more, trust me. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I will say, though, it is kind of nerve-wracking having to... Yeah, we did it! Woohoo! Oh, my computer got messy there. Hold on. No. Sorry about that. My computer kind of got weird there. And we're gonna hit him again. Why? Because we can. Ha 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 ha! Dr. Obotnik, you are all dead. But yeah, as you can see, that wasn't a very hard fight at all. Now we're gonna run through Green Hill Zone with the green, with the, with the title screen music playing. What's this? We collected all seven Chaos Emeralds? Oh man, I wonder what that could mean. What what happened? Sonic has no idea. We did a cool little Sonic point ass thing though. Ah, oh, so yes, I believe this is the end of Sonic for me. At least Sonic 1. So I thought this LP went relatively well, actually. Um despite the little mess ups I had here and then. By the way, Green Hill Zone's playing, which is pretty cool. I love the song. But yeah, despite the little mess ups I had um, I believe it was mainly, really it was mainly, I think, just Labyrinth, Starlight, and Scrap Brain Zone. I think those are really the only ones I kind of had trouble with. But other than that, I think, I think it went pretty well, in my opinion. Still love Spring Yard music. Such a good song. But I would like to thank everybody who has watched my videos and put up my rage in Labyrinth Zone. Fucking Labyrinth Zone, man, I tell ya. Sucks so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, just been really fun overall. Uh, tell me if you guys want me to just do Pokemon for a while, or if you would like me to start a new LP, because I have one in mind that I could do. But if you guys just want one LP for a while, I could totally understand that. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, to give you a hint of what it is, it is just a plain old Nintendo game, like Nintendo Entertainment System, NES. Uh... Can't really give you an answer to that. I'd probably give it away. <laughs> but yes, Sonic the Hedgehog was really fun. I really had fun doing this Let's Play. Um, if anybody's wondering why I made a end screen thing at the end of my videos for Sonic and not Pokemon, because Sonic's a short game, and I really felt that you know I could do a pretty good job with it, and really just make it look good. And I don't mind putting that at the end, because I knew this wasn't going to be a long Let's Play, as opposed to Pokemon, which is a really long Let's Play. Here we have Robotnik jumping on end, which is kind of humorous. But yes, thanks everybody for watching. This has been RartyBurar on Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. Thanks for watching, and I really appreciate you guys viewing, commenting, and subscribing and all that fun shit. So I'll see you guys next time on my next LP, alright? Bye. Thanks for watching.